Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Um, for those from, who are joining us on Facebook, good afternoon. Um, welcome to the Department of Economics and Ateneo Center for Economic Research and Development Seminar Series. Uh, my name is Mahaleya Ravago, Associate Professor um, from the Department of Economics, and I will be moderator for today. Uh, before I introduce our speaker, uh, let, us, um, let me give you our house rules. First, for those who, has, who have just come in, um, three times, please show our house rules. In the next slide. So we will let our speaker finish her presentation first before we entertain questions. For those of you who are in Zoom, kindly stay muted and stop sharing your video during the duration of the presentation. During Q&A, Please virtually raise your hand and wait to be acknowledged. You may unmute and show yourself when asking your questions. Participants on Facebook, please post your questions in the comment sections. Uh, we will prioritize asking the questions with the most number of likes if we have several questions. Uh, we apologize in case we are not able to read them all due to limited time. Now, uh, may I introduce our speaker? Uh, please, next slide. Um, our speaker for today is an associate professor at the Fukui Prefectural University in Japan. Prior to her current position, she was a junior researcher at the um, Waseda University and a project researcher at the University of Tokyo. She received her BA in Commerce from Griffith University in Australia and MA and PhD in Economics from the Graduate School of Economics at Kobe University in Japan. Her research interests include energy economics and socially responsible investment and development economics. Her research has also received funding from the Sumitomo Foundation. She is a member of the European Association of Environmental and Resource Economists, the International Association for Energy Economics, and Society for Environmental Economics and Policy Studies. Without further ado, please welcome Dr. Miwa Nakai. Miwa, you have the, the screen. Okay, can you see the slide? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Um, thank you, Maha, for your kind of introductions. And good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miwa Nakai. I am Associate Prof Professor at Fukui Prefectural University, Japan. And firstly, I'd like to thank the organizer for giving me such a great opportunity to speak my uh, the research. And of course, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, today, I am going to talk about my research entitled Do Households in Developing Countries Choose Energy Efficient Air Conditioner? Evidence from Metro Manila, the Philippines. And this is joint research with Professor Maha Rabago from Ateneo de Manila University and Dr. Mia Oka, Professor Saito, and Professor Arimura from Waseda University, Japan. Um, we are about to submit this paper to the journal. So, um, we are we greatly appreciate any of your comments or advice of questions. Okay, so before I move to the introduction part of this presentation, I would like I would like to quickly summarize our research questions and main findings. So the first one of our research question is what are important determinants to purchase air conditioner in Philippines, uh, Manila? And the second research question is, can energy label motivate people to purchase energy efficient air conditioner? And if so, we would like to know what kind of information is effective. And our main finding is that uh, the country of a manufacturer in additional function and energy efficient level are important factors when they uh, make decision to purchase in, uh, air conditioner. And regarding second research questions, we found labels matter. And we also found that when energy efficient uh, label are shown by energy rating, like number of stars, or when energy efficient label are shown by the running cost, which is uh, the Philippine pesos per hour, uh, they are more effective 
than uh, the current information level, which is energy efficiency ratio. Okay, so firstly, I would like to uh, introduce motivations and the research objective. And as the Philippines economy has grown rapidly uh, for last decades, the electricity consumption has increased. And as you can see from the graph, not only commercial and industrial sectors, but residential sector has increased the electricity consumptions. And our focus, uh, our study focuses on residential sector. And because um, electricity consumption has increased, CO2 emissions in Philippines has also increased. And you can see it from the graph as well. And this graph shows you end use electricity households consumption in Philippines as of 2011. So it's already nine years ago. So the situation may differ, but as of um, 2011, uh, space cooling and air conditioning is the third largest end user consumption. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so due to uh, economic growth of the Philippines, uh, the ratio of air conditioner, air conditioner owner has been also increased in the Philippines. Um, Currently, air conditioners are used by around 16% of Metro Manila's populations and 7% of Philippines' populations. And the, the graph below shows you the trend of the number of air conditioner sales in Philippines. And you can see that it's been increasing and we expect the number of air conditioner sales in Philippines are increasing in the future as well. So considering these, uh, the facts, we think, we believe that one of the effective energy saving behaviors that households can take is choosing energy efficient air conditioner. And so we have four research obje objectives here. Uh, the first research objective is to understand energy consumption pattern, energy saving behavior and the consciousness toward energy and environment. And second, we would like to know, we would like to understand awareness and degree of trust towards energy levels in Philippines. And the last two research objectives are most important in our study, which is we would like to estimate preferences for each attributes of air conditioner using a choice experiment. And the last research objective is to examine what kind of information in energy level can encourage consumers to choose energy efficient air conditioner. Okay, so this is uh, the quick literature review. So in the table, you can see six studies with a similar research objective and four uh, paper are conducted, that's a survey conducted in developed country and one is in India and one was in China. And please look at the, the column saying eco or efficient label info. So they, they, uh, their research objective was that whether or not uh, energy label significantly affects their choice, um, choice uh, their uh, purchase choice for air conditioner water heater, TV or fridge. And they found that uh, the label significantly affected their decision making. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, interesting findings from uh, related studies. And the first study mentioned that consumers mainly focus on energy efficiency class such as A or A plus or B and they ign largely ignore information about annual electricity consumption, such as 129 kilowatt hours per year. And because people often use mental shortcuts to reach their decision-making, people tend to focus mainly on highly accessible attributes, like uh, is the easy information to understand. And second paper say that insufficient information can lead to considerable undervaluation of energy efficiency. They also found that simple information on the monetary value of energy saving was the most important element, element guiding energy efficiency investments. And 
we believe that what kind of information can make people choose energy efficient home appliance depends on the area or uh, the, the people's educational background or income level of the study you um, of the um, that you can you want to study, and we have we have not seen any paper conducting such kind of uh, research objective in Philippines. So, as of our knowledge, it is first uh, the paper to conduct in uh, Metro Manila in Philippines with such a research objective. Okay, so I would like to explain about the methodology we take. So this table shows you the survey schedule. So as you can see, we conducted the face to face survey uh, from July to August 2019. But uh, in order to finalize the research uh, questionnaire, we took several steps. And for example, we visited some uh, home appliances shops in Manila in order to know uh, which price range or which, what kind of functions or which model are popular in Manila. And then we also conducted focus group discussions and pretest in order to sophisticate the questionnaire. And after that, we visited Department of Energy and Miracle. And we fortunately, we get some uh, good advice from them. And we finalized uh, the questionnaire and then we conducted the face to face survey. Okay, so these photos uh, that capture the time we conducted focus group discussions, pre test, and also our visit uh, to the Department of Energy and Miracle Power Lab. Okay, then again, we conducted the survey last year in July and August, and uh, the professional survey company P named PCRC conducted a face-to-face survey, and we focus on Metro Manila area, and we have 600 respondents, and we focus on the people who are 25 to 65 years old, and they must be interested in purchasing air conditioner in next two years, um, and they also must be decision maker for home appliances. And we, con we conducted the random sampling according to socioeconomic class, gender, age range, and household size range. And the questionnaire consists of uh, three category. And the first category includes choice experiment question, which is the most important question that I'm going to explain in the next slides. And the second category includes the question to measure the electricity consumption, interest on energy issues, awareness and trust on energy level and uh, their air conditioner usage. And the last part consists of questions to know their social demographic information. And uh, these two photos uh, captures the time uh, when the investigator visited the respondent's house. And you can see that two ladies hold the tablet, so they are the investigator, and then they ask questions to the respondents. Okay, so this is the, this, the, um, the slide shows you an example of a choice experiment questions, which is again, the most important, uh, the question in our survey. Um, the respondents were asked to choose one of three uh, alternatives. You can see that air conditioner one, air conditioner two, and uh, the last option saying, I, I purchased neither air conditioner one nor air conditioner two. And each air conditioner has four um, characteristics. And in choice experiment, we use attribute instead of characteristics. So we have four attributes. The first attribute is purchase price. And second attribute is additional functions. And the third one is country of manufacturer. And the last one is energy efficiency. And this time uh, we show uh, EER means energy efficiency ratio. And so you see that there are different informations in air conditioner one, air, in air conditioner two. Right, so air conditioner one uh, is 
more expensive than air conditioner two. And air conditioner two has the additional function, which is air purification functions, but air, co air conditioner one doesn't have any additional functions. And you can see that air conditioner one is made by US manufacturer and air, air conditioner two is made by Philippines manufacturer. And whereas air conditioner one is relatively higher energy efficiency functions, air conditioner two does not have such high energy efficiency level. And we repeat six times each for window type and also split type because the window type and the split type has different uh, informations. For example, split type is normally more expensive so that we have six questions for window type and six question for split type. And in each time, the, the values in the questionnaire is different. So for example, this time you see the 30,000 pesos for air conditioner one, but in the next questions, you may see that let's say 20 Philippine pesos for air conditioner one, okay? And we have two assumptions here. So we told two assumptions to the respondents. The first assumption is purchase a new air conditioner unit of a window type for window type question for the bedroom that has one force power covering 14 to 17 square meters. And we, and then second assumption is there is no installation cost so that the condition for all respondents are the same. Okay, so please remember that, please remember our second uh, research question, which is uh, if label matter, which kind of information can encourage people to purchase energy efficient air conditioner? So in order to do so, we divided our sample into three groups. And some groups see energy efficiency ratio in the choice experiment, like this example. And for some group, they see a running cost, which is estimated cost per hour in the choice experiment. Okay, and then the, the people in the third group see energy rating, like number of stars instead of uh, uh, energy efficiency ratio nor uh, estimated cost per hour, okay? Um, so you may already know that, but uh, energy efficiency ratio is the current information on the energy guide issued by the Department of Energy. And higher number means more efficient. For example, if there are two EER, 11 and nine, that means if you see, uh, that means the, the air conditioner with 11 is more efficient compared to the air conditioner with EER of nine, okay? And estimated cost per hour is shown in orange tag uh, issued by the Miracle. So you've seen, you've seen that energy guide and orange tag before in the home appliances shop. And then last one is new energy guide. Um, that is, that will be issued by uh, Department of Energy in the future. So in the future, the energy guide will be shown by the number of stars instead of energy efficiency ratio. Okay. So this table shows you attributes and labels for window type. So you can see that um, we have four label each for example, the purchase price of window type uh, can be uh, one of either 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, and 30,000 pesos. So each of them can be appeared on the choice experiment questions. And also we have four levels. Uh, we have four levels for additional functions and which are without any functions with the noise reduction functions because window type is a little bit noisy and with air purification functions and smart functions. And I'm going to explain you what is smart function in the next slide. And regarding country of manufacturer, we have four level, which are Philippines, Japan, Korea, and the US. 
And again, in order to examine which informations are the most effective to make people purchase energy efficient air conditioner, we have three types of energy efficiency informations. So in order to compare the impacts of each level of air conditioner choice, right? We need to make level of EER, uh, Philippine pesos per hour and energy rating correspond to each other. And due to time limitations, I cannot um, show you and explain how I calculate uh, Philippine pesos per hour correspond to EER and energy rating here, but we created equation, equations uh, and Miracle help us um, to create the equation so that we are pretty confident that they are uh, three informations are corresponding. Okay, so regarding smart functions, um, so we said we include the smart function in choice experiment and we hypothesize that smart function enables people to monitor the electricity consumptions and turn the unit on and off by their mobile phone or tablet. And at the moment, I mean, in the real world, the only smart plug is available in the market. And the smart plug has pretty much same uh, function that I just explained, but the plug is separated from the air conditioner. Like you can see from the photos here, but we use hypothetical technology that a smart plug is already installed into the air conditioner for our survey. Okay, next, uh, this table shows the attributes and level for speed type air conditioner. So because speed type is usually high, uh, more expensive than window type, uh, we also, we, um, also set the purchase price more expensive than window type. So you see that the the more the cheapest model here is twenty five thousand Philippine pesos, and the most expensive model is forty thousand pesos. But uh, here for window type, the cheapest one is fifteen thousand, and the most expensive one is thirty thousand pesos. So we set uh, the spirit type more expensive. And regarding additional functions, we have a little little bit different from uh, the window type. So the, we have without any functions and with auto cleaning functions and with air purification function and with smart functions. And we have same level for country manufacturer here. And again, we have uh, three types of energy efficiency informations and we have exactly same level for EER and energy rating, but we have different numbers for Philippine pesos per hour because split type is uh, usually a more energy efficient compared to window type, so that we have a little bit different equations to calculate Philippine pesos per hour compared to the window type. So you can see that um, the least energy efficient level is nine of EER, then Philippine pesos for uh, this level is 5.01 Philippine pesos. But for window type, you can see 6.04 Philippine pesos. That means for, for uh, the speed type is more efficient. And the most efficient level, which is EER of 15, Philippine peso is uh, 1.71 uh, Philippine pesos here. So if speed type is more efficient, so that Philippine pesos, I mean, running cost is cheaper than uh, window type. Okay, so estimation model. So if you uh, apply choice experiment questions, uh, you use this kind of estimation model so that it, it's quite familiar, uh, it must be quite familiar with you. And the researcher used to use uh, the conditional logic model when they estimate, but the conditional logic model has some strong assumptions, restrictions, I would say, uh, which is homogeneity of preferences and independence of, of irrelevant alternatives. Uh, so that we use a little bit um, more advanced model, which is a mixed logical model, which can relax such uh, restriction that I just told you. And dependent variable in this uh, analysis is of course a choice, either air conditioner one or air conditioner two, nor, or um, 
they don't purchase air conditioner. So they are the dependent variable. So this uh, slide shows you exponentially variables. And because we use mixed logic model, we can, uh, we can, consider, we can consider heterogeneity for um, attributes, but we assume that we don't have, that the people do not have heterogeneity of preferences toward air conditioner price. That means people, we believe that people uh, prefer air conditioner with lower uh, price so that we, um, we set air conditioner price as a non-random variable. And as random variables, we uh, have country of manufacturers, additional functions and energy efficiency level and uh, ASC. That means I don't purchase neither aircon one or aircon two. Um, regarding first three attributes, they are dummy variables, right? As I can, as, oops, sorry, as I show you. So they are dummy variable, right? So that I need to set a basement group. So uh, regarding country of manufacturers, I set dummy variable for Philippine manufacturers as a base group. And then regarding additional functions, I set dummy variable for non-additional functions as base group. In the same way, regarding energy efficiency level, I set dummy variable of level one, which is lowest efficiency as basement base group. Okay. And in order to answer which information can encourage people to make, uh, to, to, to purchase energy efficient in a, uh, air conditioner, I, I need to include interaction terms, but I will explain you later when I show you the estimation results. Okay, so uh, results. So firstly, I'm showing you descriptive statistics regarding sociodemographic information. And as you may notice that we have many people who graduated from university and we have many people who earn higher income in Philippines. And there are many uh, variables here. So I want to only focus on one variable, which is willing to purchase used air conditioner. And we originally wanted to include a variable uh, attribute, which is like new air conditioner or used air conditioner. But we found that from the pretest and focus group discussions, people do not want to purchase used air conditioner because they believe that, yes, the front cost of air used air conditioner must be cheap, but they often does not include insurance or they may have some problem on technical issues. So they believe that used air conditioner is going to cost them more compared to the new air conditioner in the end. And our final survey also suggests that people do not want to purchase used air conditioner, so we do not include a choice experiment. Okay, so this graph shows you awareness on energy guide and the orange tag. And more than 80% of our respondents knew energy guide and orange tag before our survey. So again, Energy Guide is the label issued by Department of Energy, like yellow, yellow label. And then orange tag is issued by Miracle, showing you how many pesos per hour. And this graph shows you trusts on Energy Guide and orange tag. And I, I can say about 75% of people trust uh, Energy Guide and mostly 60% of people trust orange tag. And this is something I want to um, share the results with you. It's, it's, I believe it's really interesting um, results to show you. So we examine, we, we ask the respondents whether they, they understood what is EER before, the, um, before our survey, okay? But again, we divided, into, divided our sample into three groups. So for one group, they already show, in a, they, they, uh, they saw energy efficiency ratio in the choice experiment. Sorry, we, we ask understanding of EER after the choice experiment. And sorry, again, so one of three groups, they already saw 
EER in the choice experiment so that we, we couldn't ask them what, what, what does EER mean? So we asked them like this. So before this survey, did you know or understand the, the higher EER means more efficient? And 86% people say, yes, they knew that. But for two out of three groups in our survey, uh, didn't see energy efficiency ratio at all in the survey so that we asked them like this. So do you know what, do you know what does EER means, please choose one of the uh, following statement if you believe it's correct. And the first option is lower EER is more efficient. And second option says higher EER is more efficient. And the third option say, I don't know. And 44% say lower EER is more efficient. It is wrong. So it's really interesting that from this result, we, can, we could say that EER may not be effective to tell the people how energy efficient air conditioner are. Okay, um, this graph shows you whether or not they considered energy level when they purchased air conditioner in the past, and also whether or not they will consider energy level in the future when they, when they will purchase air conditioner. And in the left side, graph uh, indicates that nearly 91% of people considered any energy level in the past. And the, right, uh, the graph in the right side indicate that um, mostly 90% of people will consider any energy level in the future. Okay, finally, uh, I'm going to explain your estimation results. Uh, firstly, for window type. And model one does not include uh, interaction terms so that the model one can explain you what, which attribute is important when they uh, make decisions to purchase air conditioner. So firstly, purchase price of air conditioner does not get any significance here. That means purchase price itself is not important factor when they uh, decide air conditioner, uh, when they um, decide to purchase air conditioner. Regarding additional functions, we get uh, statistic statistically significant for smart functions. That means air conditioner with smart functions is more likely to be chosen compared to the air conditioner without any additional function. Uh, regarding country of manufacturer, um, we get negatively significance for dummy variable, variable of Korea and the US. That means compared to uh, the air conditioner uh, made by Philippine, uh, Philippine manufacturer, the aircon was um, made by Korean or US company are less likely to be chosen. Okay, uh, regarding energy efficiency, um, compared to the least energy efficient level, people prefer higher energy efficiency level. Okay, we get negative significant, negatively significance for ASC here. That means people want to basically purchase air conditioner compared to they do not want to, uh, sorry. So ASC, positive, negative sign for ASC means people basically want to purchase air conditioner. Okay, so model two includes interaction term uh, in order to answer our second questions, second research question, which is what kind of information can make people purchase energy efficient air conditioner? So that I skip those um, variable. So I focus on the, this here. Okay, so firstly, please have a look at the estimation results of interaction term that are Philippine peso times each efficiency level. And you can see that positive sign for significantly positive sign for interaction term, which are Philippine peso times level three and level four. So it means that compared to the same efficiency level shown in energy efficiency ratio, people 
are more likely to choose energy, higher energy efficient air conditioner if efficiency level show in running costs, uh, which is Philippine pesos per hour. In same way, we get positively significant uh, results for energy rating. That means like um, energy, that means if energy efficiency level shown in the number of star, people are more likely to choose energy efficient air conditioner compared to uh, same efficiency level in an uh, yellow tag. Okay, so um, same for spirit type, we have pretty much similar results. Uh, we don't get significant results for uh, purchase price of air conditioner. And we get positively significance for dummy variable of auto cleaning and a smart function. And we get positive sign for Japanese manufacturer, but a negative uh, sign for Korean and US manufacturer. And same here, people basically prefer uh, the air conditioner with higher energy, a uh, higher efficiency. And again, ASC get significantly negative sign. That means people basically want to purchase air conditioner, split type air conditioner. Okay, and regarding model two, I skip those variable and here again. So they are basically similar to what we get in the window type as well. Um, we, I can say that if energy efficiency uh, informations are shown in running costs, which is Philippine peso, or the number of starts, people are more likely to choose a uh, high energy efficient air conditioner. That's the basic results. And we conducted additional estimation uh, as well, because some related, uh, some previous study investigate the relationship between preferences for higher energy efficiency and their uh, socio-demographic information, such as their age or, or uh, gender, dif uh, gender or university graduate and higher income and a monthly electricity fee, <clears throat> excuse me. And we also included into the estimation model, um, air conditioner owner and also uh, daily usage of air conditioner among only air conditioner owners. So regarding window type, we uh, conducted, we, we conducted the diff three different estimation model. So model one uh, includes the basic, uh, the variable that I show you before, plus uh, interaction term with social demographic informations. For example, age times level two, three, four, and female times level two, three, four, and high income and university. And <clears throat> we get positively significant for female uh, times level three and a four, and also high income times level three. That means the, the female are more likely to purchase higher energy efficiency, uh, efficient air conditioner compared to the male. And also uh, the people who get high income are less likely to choose a higher energy efficient air conditioner. And model two includes interaction term of electricity usage as well. And electricity usage means a monthly electricity bill. So monthly electric electricity bill times level two and level three and level four. Um, but we don't get any significant results from them. And model two only get two significance. Uh, two, um, we get female times level three and a female times level four get only statistically significant. It's very similar to model one. And model three includes all variable, but focus on only air conditioner owners so that we include interaction term, which are um, daily usage of air conditioner. That means how many hours they use air conditioner per day times level two, level three and level four. But we don't get any statistical significance in model three. And a split time, we conducted pretty much similar things. 
but we don't get any significance in split type. So that we say, we can say that for window type air conditioner, uh, we found relationship between female and also the preferences toward high energy efficiency and also high income, but other characteristic didn't get any significant significance. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to summarize our uh, the research findings. So within our sample, more than 80% knows energy guide and orange tag. And we found that many people considered both label when they purchased the air conditioner in the past. And according to our estimation results, our, our respondents have a positive preferences toward air conditioner with smart functions and air conditioner made by Japanese manufacturer and air conditioner with higher energy efficiency. And we also uh, found that um, the people have negative preferences towards air conditioner produced by Korean and US manufacturer compared to Philippine manufacturer. And the coefficient of purchase price is not statistically significant, while coefficients of higher energy efficiency are posit positively significant. That means um, our respondents have considered running costs more than front costs and which may induce from expensive electricity price in Philippines. And as you know that the Philippines uh, electricity rate is the second highest in Asian countries. And regarding energy label design um, with energy star, like number of stars or orange tag, people are more likely to purchase energy efficient and air conditioner compared to uh, air conditioner with energy efficiency ratio. Um, from the results of our additional estimation results, none of, none of personal char characteristics except female can increase the possibility to buy energy efficient air conditioner. So again, label matters. And because we can't find any relationship between personal characteristics and preferences toward energy efficiency, it means label is the, I would say, only way to show energy efficiency. Um, regarding implication to the manufacturers, um, we can say that our estimation results may uh, give incentives to manufacturers to make energy efficient air conditioner, even though it makes air conditioner price is a little bit higher. And uh, the smart function can be a new important function of an air conditioner, while at the moment smart plug is the only available in the Philippine market. Okay, so this is the end of my presentation. Thank you uh, very much for your patience uh, and your time. Uh, I would like to hear your opinion or questions and advice. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Miwa, Miwa-san, for um, sharing the results of this study. Uh, we now go to questions and answers. So if anybody from Facebook or from um, participants in Zoom have any questions, um, please ask them. For Facebook, please post your questions on the comments sections and we will read them out. Um, anybody from um, our Zoom participants? Yes, Alvin, you showed yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Miwa san, yeah, Otokare sama. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the presentation. It's, uh, you know, the, this kind of study is really interesting to find out uh, the preferences of people, particularly buying air conditioner. Um, you know, I just uh, about two years ago, I prop if I was, uh, I could be one of your respondents if it happened last year, but I bought an air conditioner uh, two years ago. And actually, I have a brand in mind, and I have made the research. But inside the store, the appliance store, the the salespeople are just so good that I was convinced to shift my 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 choice. So I want, I, you know, I uh, I was wondering. I, I know it's not part of the 
of the survey that you did, but maybe when you were here and doing the survey, you may have observed some kind of uh, persuasive talks uh, done by the salespeople. Mm -hmm. uh, could, could, uh, how, how can we account for that in the decision to make the purchase? Mm -hmm. Well, Mahal, we actually asked the, the, the question to respondent, like how they get the information on energy efficiency. And we have uh, the, the alternative of this question is first is from label, a second is from salesman, mm -hmm. the third is like uh, education. Mm -hmm. And our result was mostly from energy level. But in the pretest and focus group discussions, our respondents say the salesman is one of the factors, mm -hmm. factors, how can I say? They are affected by salesman, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you are right. And when I visited the home appliances shop, they keep talking to me. <laughs> so you are right. Um, but I have not yet, uh, had ideas how we incorporate this fact into the questionnaire, but it's quite important because we are going to conduct similar survey in other areas. So, well, I'd like to ask all of you, like if you have any ideas or any um, opinions about this, because I, I know it's quite important to consider or consider about. Maha, do you have any? Yeah, I, Alvin is asking actually about um, the persuasiveness, you know, of the salesman. Um, when we did the market research, we, 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 it's like we're posing to be buying aircon. So they were also advertising, um, you know, the different air, condition and air conditioner uh, with us. Um, but that can be incorporated, Miwa, in the, I guess, in the next round of survey. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Alvin. Yeah, that's a good um, point, no? Because um, it's our own experience that it's also the persuasiveness. But part mm -hmm. of that persuasiveness, uh, Miwa, you may um, augment on this. Part of that per persuasiveness is their explanation about the energy efficiency of the appliance, right? Mm -hmm. When we did the market research. Mm -hmm. But yeah. currently, in the estimation right now, it's not accounted for. Is that right, Miwa? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And maybe we can also uh, ask the question to the salesman, like uh, what kind of models they want to uh, the sell. Like it may, uh, maybe they want to sell the air conditioner um, that is, I don't know, uh, get, how can I say? Um, they, they may want to sell energy efficient air conditioner or they want to simply want to sell the expensive air conditioner. And if the salesman want to uh, sell expensive air conditioner, not energy efficient air conditioner, then we would like to investigate how we can affect the salesman by some ways. So, yeah. Okay, um, Lina, you have a question or would, would you like to add to the discussion? I, I have a question. Uh, I did not get how you chose your respondents. Uh, I'm not sure why I was not able to get that. How did you choose your respondents? Were you, uh, were, did you target respondents who really have had plans of buying AC? Or yeah. it can be anyone. And yeah. for that reason, the, the, the status quo mm -hmm. would be uh, a reasonable option. And probably a lot of respondents would choose the status quo, which is not buying an AC, a new AC, right? Mm -hmm. And that would reduce your number of respondents that would be useful for your analysis. Mm -hmm. How did you choose your respondents? Okay, uh, I may, wait, I'm showing you the slide again. Uh, we only focus on people who want to purchase or interested, interested in purchase air conditioner in next two years. Uh, wait, sorry. Um, How were you able to screen? How did you include that screening? question in the questionnaire? Ah, okay. So firstly, we have several questions like um, in the beginning, beginning of a questionnaire, like are you interested in purchasing air conditioner in next two years? Okay. And then if they say yes, then ah, wait, wait, I have another 
slides to show you um, which is easier to understand. Yeah, so it, it is like sa our sampling strategy. Mm -hmm. So firstly, we asked them, are you air conditioner? Uh, are you air conditioner owner? Yes, then we go to the second questions. And if say no, um, still we go to the, sorry, next questions. And would you like to buy air conditioner in two years? And yes, then we can go to the next questions. But if we say no, then they are out of our target because we believe that not everyone in Philippines can buy air conditioner, but we want to know preferences of potential buyers so that we focus on the people who are interested in buying air conditioner who can maybe, afford, we, they can, uh, they afford to buy air conditioner so that we focus on such people. Okay, so how did you approach your respondent then? So anyone can be approached. So is there any way so that you don't lose a lot of time approaching people who are not interested in buying? Uh, this is just in, in the interest of time. I'm just wondering how you did that, but it's okay. But I have another question, which is I, uh, which I am more interested in. So the approach may be later. Oh, you want to answer that question? Okay. Okay, yeah. So if say like, is looking at this screen, if you if the people say no in the second question, then they are just we say bye. So they are not included in our sample. Yeah. So actually we lost lots of sample, yeah. but you know um, the the investigator keep visiting households until our sample reached to the six hundred people. So it takes a lot of time actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then how many among the six hundred people were? interested in buying a new AC in the next two years? Well, so I want to have 600, which is usable. That is yeah, interesting. Right, right. Okay. Yes, yes, so that yes, must yes. be expensive, huh? that procedure. Anyway, I have another question. The purpose of your paper is to look at the, um, uh, actually the, the people who are willing, who, who take into consideration uh, energy efficiency, right? Mm -hmm. But in your choice modeling exercise, you have a lot of attributes and that mm -hmm. somehow confused the respondent. Instead of focusing on the energy efficiency, they would focus okay. on running when you can actually make this constant for all the, the, the alternatives. So you can okay. tell the respondent that all other things are constant and then you focus on that particular attribute that you are more interested in. No. So what did you think of including all the attributes? Yes, but this is actually the way how to make other variable consistent. Otherwise, if we ask only about energy efficiency, of course, people say, yes, we want to have higher energy efficient, but mm -hmm. always we have to face trade-off, right? Some air conditioner looks very attractive, but if the, the price is out of our, their budget, then they can't mm -hmm. afford to buy the air conditioner. So in order, so choice experiment method, it's something that can reflect the nearly uh, similar to the real uh, trade-off situations so that we need to include some other important factors. But we can't just, we, we can't just include the, the attributes into the choice experiment, but we have to choose uh, when design the choice, uh, the, the questionnaire so that as I explained, Bear you, we have to take some several times, several steps in order to finalize the choice experiment questions. Because maybe some people say uh, whether or not air conditioner has insurance is maybe important. And some people say maybe the design of air conditioner is important. But uh, after we conducted several pretests, we decided that um, the three attributes and one energy efficient factor are the most important one to decide air conditioner to purchase. So we actually take several steps in order to finalize the, the design. So it, it, it gave me the impression that it, this is more of a marketing strategy that is, uh, this study is for a particular company wanting to know the, the, the market for its AC uh, products, it's AC mm -hmm. goods, rather than an environment study where you want to focus on energy efficiency as a choice no, for the purchase of AC. 
Another question that I have is, um, um, you asked a question, the awareness and the knowledge question. Are you aware about this branding, etc.? Did you simply ask a question, are you aware of the branding? Or you have questions that would indicate whether they are really knowledgeable, that is, they have correct knowledge about these concepts? Or okay. is it just uh, self-reported knowledge? Oh, yes, self-reported. Uh, so yes. you do not try to include questions that would test whether they know exactly what it, that is. That's why in the end you said that there was people who actually didn't know what uh, energy efficiency is, what is less energy efficient, mm -hmm. et cetera, right? Yes. So you do not try to attempt to ask questions that would are really indicate whether they are knowledgeable or not. So yeah. I think just in your, yeah. Yeah, it is a really good point. Maybe we should have included like a um, quantitative, how can I say that the questions to measure quantitatively like uh, let's say energy literacy, the energy literacy, but uh, the, our question is self-reported. So like um, only one question is uh, not self-reported um, about the question about EER, mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, it's self-reported. So yes, uh, maybe for the next survey, we should have, we, we should include such questions. Yeah, and as a suggestion, even if it is a knowledge question, I mm -hmm. would ask you to phrase it in an opinion question style. That mm -hmm. is, people would agree or disagree rather than whether this is true or correct or not correct. So uh, that okay. will not antagonize your, your respondent. No? That will not uh, make your respondent, no? you will not intimidate your respondents no? by testing mm -hmm. the knowledge of, of, of it. And okay. then, I have another question regarding your price. Your price um, uh, attribute is not significant. Mm -hmm. It is not a significant determinant, correct? Is that yep. correct? You said it is not significant. Yes, you're correct, yes. And this is also very important. This price attribute is very important in a choice mm -hmm. modeling study, correct? Yep. Yeah. I wonder why. I actually look at your, you have an example of a choice set, right? Where in the price is 15,000 and 30,000. And it is such a big uh, difference. Mm. So what are your um, considerations in setting the levels of the price? Could it be that people just didn't look at it? Because it is, uh, you know, it is such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And how come they did not concentrate on that price? Did they believe the price? Is this, are these prices reflective of the true prices in the market? Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yes. Philippine made, yeah? AC, yeah. You, you gave a lower price. And yeah. if that, so if that is the case, so that would be um, correlated with that, uh, with that particular uh, attribute, which is the, 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 the place of uh, the, or, the origin of the good. Right, so that would is that is there no problem regarding computations if you, if your prices are somehow correlated with the um, place of origin of the good? Okay, so like you said, um, yes, there are huge variations, and they should have they should have been huge variation. Otherwise, the, the, the people cannot. Uh, differentiate the, the price range. And the four levels are based on our market research. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, of course, in the market, there are the air conditioner, which are more uh, expensive or the cheaper than our uh, the price range. But um, because we want to uh, set four level of air conditioner prices, we set these four uh, numbers. Sorry, I, maybe I, I should uh, show the numbers. Uh, just a moment, please. Yes, for window type here and spread type. So, okay. and yeah, so they are based on the market research and why the variable of purchase price are not significant there are several, uh, uh, pos there's possible, uh, I have some, some ex I, I, can, I can have some uh, explanations. So one of the explanation is, we set these bar uh, the purchase price based on the market research, but our sample are richer than the whole populations. Maybe because we focus on the people who want to purchase air conditioner in two years, they um, 
earn more people and they graduated from university more compared to the whole population. So um, while is the prices are based on the market research, our uh, sample are a little bit richer than whole population so that people would not feel these price ranges are not very uh, expensive for them. And the second reason is that they know, they, they believe that the running cost is more important compared to the front cost. This is what we can interpret from these results. Uh, last question. Okay. Last, ask again. Okay, last okay. question. Did okay, you, because we have questions from Facebook yeah. as well. Okay, oh. last, last. Did you compute for the marginal willingness to pay? Uh, the, the price variable being not significant did not allow you to compute for the marginal willingness to pay. Still, you can compute, right? You did not compute for the marginal willingness to pay for each well, of the three attribute? Because we do not get the negative sign for uh, the window type. It's, it's, it's really weird to con compute uh, willingness to pay so that we don't, we don't compute willingness to pay. Oh, okay, I'm really yeah. surprised because you usually uh, give your, the preferences of people in terms of the marginal willingness to pay. Yeah, but this time we did not present any of those. Yeah, because it's positive, it's, it's so weird. Oh. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. Okay. Uh, just to give additional context, um, mm -hmm. actually, the Philippines has just um, passed the energy conservation law um, early last year. And in fact, um, among Asian countries, Thailand and the Philippines are the leading, you know, having this um, standards no? on efficiency, on um, standards on appliances. But in terms of efficiency, it was um, the lighting, the efficient lighting, the, the, the LED that has gained more momentum. But it's also the DOE is now um, putting a priority with regards to the air conditioner appliance. So we are also communicating with them. Okay, um, let me just um, read some comments from Facebook. So this is from Larry Fernandez uh, from Meralco. It would mm. also be interesting to compare results of a similar study in other highly urbanized areas outside the Meralco area, like Cebu or Davao, where Orange Tag will not likely be available because I think Orange Tag is only available here in Metro Manila. So Miwa, you can tell the audience again, again about the plans to expand the survey. Oh yeah, okay. So this time, like last year, we conducted the survey only in Metro Manila. So we focus on Metro Manila, but uh, we are going to conduct a survey in uh, Cebu area and Davao area to, because there are, there are possibly difference uh, of preferences toward the attributes that we examine in Metro Manila. And yes, this uh, device is really um, good because um, we, we haven't conducted any pre-survey in these uh, other two, two areas so that they may be some similar label like orange tag or they may not be orange tag, uh, like orange tag. So okay. yeah, it is really interesting. Thank you. Okay, yeah. another comment from Ricardo or Devesa. As a layman customer, I consider the brand and price point. Of course, electricity consumption counts a lot when acquiring AC unit. Since there is no way to lower down electricity costs in the Philippines, perhaps we just have to be more creative by introducing solar panel as a mixed scheme to reduce the cost of using AC. Of course, solar panels will require additional investment from the ordinary household owner in the far future. So it's just a comment. Um, okay. okay, thank you. And then another question um, from Miraida Santos Liserio. Um, does the season or climatic condition affect end user decision to buy an AC? I see. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, we are, we conducted in, so July and August is one of the hottest season or June is hottest in Philippines. I mean, Manila, Maha. Mm -hmm. um, March, me. March, okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, actually, yes, uh, especially the climate and the, uh, the temperature affects a lot. Uh, to the survey design. So we have to think of which uh, at the month we will conduct a survey in different two areas. Maybe we should do the same in the, the same 
uh, the months in order to make consistency. But thank you so much for your advice. I agree with your idea. Okay, we have another question from uh, Louis Dumlao, also a faculty of um, Department of Economics and the Dean of the Business School. Louis? Yeah, hello. Just so, just a clarification. So, so, so it, it's really in, in terms of the female. So it is really more like the females would would buy energy efficient ACs as opposed that as opposed to saying that you're concluding that females actually buy energy efficient ACs. Is that correct? It's it's uh, it's really just the tendency. Tendency. Sorry, tendency. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, but um, well, but you know, be, because they are already respondents, they are a decision maker for home appliances. So the respondents who are female in our sample, they are decision makers. So yes, it's it is hypothetical uh, situations, but they are still uh, possibly uh, more uh, more more. Sorry, they, they have a more tendency to purchase energy efficient air conditioner compared to the, the male respondents in our analysis. Thank you, because there's a big difference between actual. Yes, yes. And yes. the thing is, it's not like you're buying a light bulb. In the Philippines, it's an individual decision whether to buy a light bulb, whereas in this country with our level of income, it's mm -hmm. usually a family decision. Even yeah. if the female is the one who buys it because they used her credit card, it's actually a family decision. Uh, finally, just, just a minor, uh, really, really, really minor uh, suggestion. Uh, the pie graph, the pie graph, I, you got me confused there because it says, uh, uh, the, the pie graph, it says, uh, uh, I consider orange label, and then on the pie graph, it's lettered, it's ah. orange. Sorry. <laughs> so I was I got confused when I was reading. Sorry, your... I'm so sorry about this. I should okay. have. Thank you. Thanks for your suggestion. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other okay, I think let me see. Okay, any other question from the Zoom participants? Do we have? Okay. None. Okay, I okay. I don't see any other questions from um, Facebook as well. Okay, but actually, it's almost past five o'clock, so it's also time to um, wrap up. Okay. Um, and Miwa, any any last words? Message. Okay. Uh, I really appreciate all your comments, suggestions, and questions. Because again, I'm going to conduct this another survey in different areas in Philippines. So I will consider all your comments and suggestions. Thank you so much. And once the this pandemic is over, I will definitely visit the uh, the Philippines, Manila. So I hope to see you face to face in the near future. Okay. Thanks. So thank you very much, Dr. Miwa Nakai.